There's been an excellent uh, bond formed between the management at Long Annette Power Station and the local community. So when the carbon capture project was first mooted, there was community engagement right from day one with uh, meetings in the village, handouts and the opportunity for the public to respond to a questionnaire. So there was no hidden agenda whatsoever and uh, the project was welcomed within the community. There's been a lot of jobs um, that's important, there's been a lot of mining jobs and a lot of service industries uh, which, which are, are sort of fed off this industry. So I think historically um, with the coal base in this industry and having such a large power station here uh, it has been a great thing for the local communities. And this community has really been built around Scottish Power and Scottish Power has been built around our community and we're both um, very much a partnership here and they take seriously their responsibilities within our community. I do in some ways think there's, there's pride in the local community uh, in the fact that this place is, you know, is, is quite open with their dealings with the local community and has supplied a lot into the community in, in, in jobs and wages uh, throughout the years. Uh, and I think the business is quite receptive to any concerns that uh, the local community have um, round about Long Island. I always remember my, my involvement with the first project with Scottish Power. There were several houses being flooded in Kincardine, uh, tremendous, terrible weather, and they sent me along with the station fire engine to, and the fire team to assist and try and save the people's homes from being flooded. In most recent times, we have been gifted by about £250,000 worth of landfill credits from Scottish Power to construct a multi-sport arena for the children of Kincardine. A Joint Fife Council was elected member in 2002. Previous to that, I was a community council chairman for approximately 10 years. And I think there, there was a role to be there as a link between the community to Scottish Power and Scottish Power back to the community. And the management at Scottish Power have actually en encouraged that and uh, supported me with that role. On many occasions as a community councillor we met with the Scottish Power management at Long Annet. For instance, there was issues with the amount of vehicles coming through our community when we were campaigning for the new bridge. But a high proportion of these vehicles, for example, was coal lorries and there was a perception that there was issues with these lorries. So one of the tasks was we sat down with the Long Annet management and the community councillors and their representations from the village and formed a code of conduct where we identified each lorry by an SP number and there was certain guidelines put in place for operating times for the lorries and that resolved the issues and that was really the start of the, the good working relationship with Scottish Power. Bongannet is a, a key part of the community, not just in the Kincardine area, not just in Fife, but across central Scotland. I, I, you meet people who have worked at Longannet or know people who have worked at Longannet uh, over a number of years, wherever you go. Uh, and I think that people recognise the important role that it plays. I think there'll be support right across the country to ensure that Longannet can continue to play that role in the future. I think carbon capture and storage is, is one way that Longannet can do that. Uh, and I, that's why I think there's political support across the spectrum for this proposal. Along with the likes of FGD, I think that was a turning point in Long Annet's life. Um, when these new te technologies come in, that, that say the younger guys, apprentices, um, engineers, then get a sort of lift and see that there's a future worth, uh, worth actually working for, you know, rather than a station that, that was running down because it looked as though coal had, had, um, had its day. We have uh, many contractors uh, from the neighbouring communities to enjoy employment at Long Annet, but also they come far and wide from the UK. They come in here and they, they stay locally, they go into bed and breakfast, hotels, etc. That's a thriving uh, community when they come here, they support the community. In fact, some of the contractors have stayed here permanently and uh, engaged in permanent jobs in and around the power station. Well, our aspiration, of course, is to have a centre of excellence. Ibadrola have made it quite clear that if we make a go of the pilot plant, they'll view Langana as their global centre of excellence for carbon capture. So we expect to host uh, academia, industry, schools. So yeah, it's a very exciting time. It's, it's going to allow people to have a bit of education, a bit of development, um, all around a leading edge technology. So it's a, it's a great thing to be involved in and it's a great thing to be station manager at this point in time.